Here's a look at my song from Boston to Dublin. It's a simple little uh, folk, uh, kind of like a folk country song. I recorded it in the key of C, but these days I like to play it in the key of D. And rather than uh, change the chords, because I like these voicings so much, I just put the capo on the second fret. So we're in the key of D, but I'm using the C shape. So for our purposes, I'm going to refer to everything as if we're in the key of C, even though I know we're not. But uh, just be forewarned. So anyway, first uh, first thing to say is the link to the uh, lyrics and the chords. Uh, it's on my website, and there's a link below in the description. So you can uh, go there and download those. But I'll show you what the chords look like. Some of them have kind of funny names. Uh, but first thing, first and foremost, this alternating bass on the C. Third finger moving back and forth between the fifth string and the sixth string. And then the next uh, series of chords is a G sus4 to a G7. And I like to do that a little bit differently. I like to play my G7 like this. So third finger on the low E string. Uh, back of that third finger mutes the A string. Fourth finger is on the third fret of the D string. And the first finger is on the first fret of the B string. There's your sus4. And then so your G7 is just take off that first finger. And if you happen to hit the high E string, that's okay. It gives that little six overtone. It's a nice vibe. Then the next uh, series of chords is a, a pretty standard run. It's an A minor walking down to an F, or an F major seven in my case. So standard A, and if you can do it, reach with your, reach with your pinky over to the third fret of the low string. So you're, you're playing the note G. So there's your A minor with a G, and then and then the F on the bottom. I don't really like bar chords, so uh, I tend not to play the F as a bar chord unless I have to. So I'm using my thumb over, and I'm letting the high E string ring. So in a way, it's kind of acting like an F major seven, but it's not. It's just an added E tone on top, but it gives it a real mysterious quality, some of these chords. And they sound great on acoustic guitar. That's the, kind of the best thing about it. And I think that's about it for the song. I'll walk you through a verse, all right? So here we go, I'll talk you through it. C, G, sus4 to G7, A minor, A minor, G, F with an E added on top, C, G, sus4 to G7, A minor, Sus4 to the 7, Sus4 to the 7, F, F Sus2, take that second finger off, G Sus4, G7, G Sus4, G7, F, F Sus2, So that's basically it. Let me show you a couple little cool things that you can do. If you've got the reach for it, you can raise the tone on your A minor, on that little, that little A minor to A minor G to F. This is really cool. I use this a lot in these kinds of songs. So I'm gonna play a basic A minor, but I'm gonna use my small finger to reach up to the fourth fret on the uh, G string. So we've got that lovely tone. It's an, I still think of it as an A minor, but it's got a longer name than that. And then, if you can do it, while you're there, add the G to the bass. And then you're at your F at that point. So the only other thing that happens in this song is I take a solo. And, uh, I 
set up the solo. It's sort of an anti-solo. It's an anti-solo, really. <laughs> um, so I start with the chord. Just a little cowboy run. gives you some things to uh, play with and uh, try out. Um, these days I play a little bit of a chord melody solo, which I didn't do when I made the recording. So I actually play the melody as a solo, so I'll just play you out with that. Mm -hmm. 